uses of collision theory to explain the rate of reaction. An increase in frequency of collision will increase the frequency of effect of collision. Thus, the rate of reaction becomes higher. If the size of a reactant is smaller, the total surface area that is exposed to collision between particles will be larger. The frequency of collision between particles will increase. The frequency of effective collision that has activation energy will also increase. Therefore, the rate of reaction increases. A higher concentration of reactant contains more particles per unit volume. The frequency of collision between particles will increase. The frequency of effective collision that has activation energy will also increase. Therefore, the rate of reaction increases. Particles have more energy at higher temperatures. The particles move at greater speed. The frequency of collision between particles will increase. The already energized particles will collide with more energy. The frequency of effective collision that has activation energy will also increase. Therefore, the rate of reaction increases. Catalysts can increase the rate of reaction by lowering the activation energy of a reaction, thus, provides an alternative route that require a lower activation energy. With the alternative route, the frequency of effective collision that have a lower activation energy will also increase. Therefore, the rate of reaction increases. At high pressure, gas particles will be compressed, and this lessens its volume. Frequency of collision between particles increases, which results in higher frequency of effective collision. More particles have activation energy, causing the rate of reaction to increase too. Thank you for taking time to watch this.